All right, YouTube world, found H. Hey. How's it going today? Um, excuse me, really good. What's new in Camden? Um, absolutely nothing. Same old, same old, except uh, we just got to watch one of our buddies get picked up by Pemberton, um, Maryville, so he can go light, and he chose to do it himself this time. Nobody forced him, asked him to go. He's doing it for himself and his twin baby girls. No kidding. Uh, twin babies, this girl and a boy. They'll be four in April, and he's like, you know what? I just want to get this in order now because their comprehension is getting really, you know, a lot mature, and this is the time to try to, you know, nip the bad stuff in the butt so that their recollection is it you know, too much. So, I'm really proud of him. He did it on his own. He just left, like, remember you guys drove past the first time? Right. He left about five minutes after that. The lady pulled up to pick him up. He was like, he skipped to the car. Okay. So that was really cool to see that. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Really do you, cool. Do you find it inspirational? Or do you I find do. it sad that, that someone's no. leaving? No. Nope. I think, it, I think they're awesome. And I think that people that get clean and, you know, are the strongest people in the world. You have to have a certain kind of strength within you and be cut from a different cloth because you know how they classify it as a disease. Like cancer and stuff. Well, cancer, you beat it and it kind of goes on the back burner, out of sight, out of mind. When you get sober, it's a 24 hour, seven day a week, or seven, yeah, seven day a week, 365, every single day battle, all day long to stay that way. I know, but is your argument only certain people are, have the ability to get clean? No, anybody can get clean. But they have to find that, that they have that strength in them or believe that they have it. You get what I'm saying? I think anybody can do it, but it takes a certain type of person to keep that strength and the confidence, I think. People get discouraged, and if there's not the right support, it's not going to stay. Okay. That's how I feel. I don't know. And you think he's going to get the right support? Um, I think him, him himself, how positive and excited and optimistic he is, I think he's his, gr he's his greatest support right now. He really is like, off like, like team clean. Okay. For his twins. What would it take for you to be where he's at? Um. Well, you remember on Christmas, I told you I wanted to, I want, I'll go to Detox. Mm -hmm. Um, me and, can I say, um, my person's name? Sure. Alyssa, we're going to Methadone Clinic tomorrow. Atlantic Ave? Yeah, okay. because you don't, well, what the information you gave me. So we're going there tomorrow, and hopefully, um, we'll get the outcome that we want, and then, um, I want, I was going to um, take that chance and then call John Brooks because John Brooks is a place where you, they, um, inpatient, you could be on methadone. Okay. So, but I don't, because I just don't want to stay on the clinic out here. I want to start it and then get transferred. So, I hate to put you on the spot, but you guys were doing your thing when we pulled up, right? So, why is tomorrow the day and not today the day? What do you mean? To go check out the, the clinic. Because I was told that it's only certain hours and they re it's like something in the morning time. Okay. Like the earlier the better. Right. So it's late now and I have something, I have, um, I have to go to City Hall and I have to do something else um, as far as business goes. So that was already, that's going to help with that. So. I have okay. to get a printout of incarceration because I don't have um, not any. All I have is a copy of my motor vehicle ID. Right. So I don't know if the place where I have to go to handle the business will honor just a photocopy. I see. You get what I'm saying? I, I so it, right. I don't know. It just seems that when we talk to people, we always talk to them the day before the event. Dude. Well, I mean, I and I know that, and I said that, and then, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I go to, should say this, but I, I mean, I get that, and I just remember on Christmas Day, and I said, I'll go to detox right now, 
but I was told there was something that had to be done first and it would have to wait so it couldn't happen right then and there. Right. So it's kind of like on both sides, it things have to be done. But it always seems to be the case, eh? And I, and I wonder if it's the addic addiction saying, hey, you know what, we gotta do this first, we gotta do this first. You know, kind of because what it is that I have to do is things for my kids and it won't be able to be done from inside of a facility. I can do, mo hopefully as long as time's on my side, I can do a lot of it today, most of it today, and you know, Okay. Well, yeah. I'm glad you're motivated. Yeah. Thank and, you. And now, um, you said Alyssa's going to go with you? Yeah, we're going to the, uh, up to Atlanta Gab tomorrow together. Okay. Yeah. And she's going to try to get on the program as well? Mm-hmm. Because her um, state insurance is still valid, but she just, the only thing is, she doesn't have the ID. But allegedly, that's not an issue as long as your state insurance is in effect. Right. So... A um, couple other people I talked to, they've had their state insurance, like a friend of mine went, he came home from prison in 2015 and has never signed another piece of paper, but his state insurance is still active. Hmm. Um, I knew for a fact the last time mine was, um, that I knew for a 100% fact was still active was end of 2018, beginning of 2019 was the last time I used it. So I'm hoping... I mean, that wasn't that long ago whatsoever. And then the other day, um, when I went online for that unemployment stuff, they had a link for New Jersey Family Care to fill out an application, I guess, because it's the new year. Right. So I did that. So I'm waiting to hear back from the response, but I'll get it. So we'll see how it goes. All I can do is pray and hope for the best. It's going to work. I know it is. I sure hope so. It is. Uh, it's going to, because I want to. for you. It's going to. You and Alyssa, because we, we don't like to see you guys out here like this. Yeah, I can't. I'm all, I'm, this is all, I'm all done. I'm all done. So, what does happiness look like to you? Cooking, cleaning, yelling at kids, doing homework, um, going to practice, camping, like my normality. What I did before drugs were a part of my life with my kids i was super mom like i didn't go out and party my girlfriends would call like come on let's go get dinner and some drinks friday night and i'm like uh no watching disney movies and going camping in the living room because i was just me and the kids money was not i had none except for for bills but we had the best time ever always doing shit like that Hmm. I'd do a bonfire out back and hot dogs and marshmallows and we had the best time ever. So you and when of... there was extra money, each kid got five or ten dollars and we went to Dollar Tree and that was better for that. They had more fun doing that than going to Toys R Us because they don't get just one item, they get five or ten items. Kids love the dollar store a certain age and under. Right. Well, I mean, you've really had a taste of normal life that you can recall because it wasn't yes, so long when I, ago. Yes, my time period when me and my children were still together, that was that was the most normal, the only normal part, time of my life. Well, that's for good me. that you can pull on and that. I'm, maybe. I'm like fiending for that. I fiend for that more than I fiend for a high because my sons are literally right there again. They're in my grass lake and as long as their grandmom knows I am doing what I'm supposed to do, I can have full access. Because they're completely adopted by her. Diapers is out of the picture. There's no restrictions. It's up to her discretion if she, I can have a visit or you know have visitation with them. Uh, there's no courts involved or anything like that. No orders. So if I have to buy a drug test for her every three days and do it in front of her, she was my probation officer as a juvenile. She can do it. To prove that I'm trying to, you know what I mean? That I'm not doing hardcore drugs and I'm just doing my methadone program. I have full access and nothing will change that unless I mess something up. And that I know. So. So what's your big plans with the stimulus check? Um, 
I didn't say anything about that yet. <laughs> I wasn't going to, but oh. sorry. Well, um, my daughter needs a laptop for school, so I told her she's got a budget of like 120, 140. Um, and I promised I don't use that word unless I know I can do it. If I don't know I can do it definitively, I say I promise I'll try my best to get it done. But I'm like, I pro you, you send me the one you want, I promise you'll have it. And that's going to happen. Um, I need a phone. Um, what else? Uh, my, my, kid, my son's grandma, I definitely want to give her something. Like monetary, because she deserves it. She does everything and she like switched up her whole life to accommodate my sons you know to keep them together uh, I don't know I have good goals for it like I'm gonna try to get some shoot like better somebody gave me these yesterday they're like a nine and men's so they're like two sizes too big but they're not them flip-flops I've been wearing so they're working, but I do want to try. I do want a pair of winter boots because, unfortunately, um, or like the knee boots. You know what I mean? Because, unfortunately, um, uh, you know those brand new boots you guys had. Right. They were all like size sevens, right. and she uh, hasn't been able to been to get my size. Like, I think. Which Jules was going to try to exchange them to get my size to happen. I don't think they had my I don't know what right. the case was. I don't think my size was available or something like that. So it's obviously something that's going to have to be purchased. And that's okay. I'm fine with that. But I desperately need them. I need boots. It's cold. Even if I'm not on the streets, it's cold. And then I'm going to do my methadone thing. And then once I get in there, I want to get transferred to John Brooks and do their inpatient because that's a methadone inpatient okay and it's really far from camden that was something i said to you i don't want to be near here i don't i'm using this clinic to get my foot in the door as far as methadone goes and i want to be transferred as fast as possible i thought we were putting a movie oh. did you pause it i know pardon me i want to ask you did you pause it mm-hmm Excuse me? Honey, we're doing a video about drugs and rehab and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm Don't say sorry if you didn't know. I know, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm not sure about that. I'm though. sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, last question is uh, what's the most responsible thing you've done today? Um, hmm. I guess re reached out to you guys to see uh, what resources and what directions you could put me in as far as the stimulus and stuff. Um, and promised myself and Alyssa that if I have to drag her kicking and screaming or vice versa, we're going over there and getting that done at the clinic. So before we leave, we're going to handcuff you to a front door. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> um that's all i have for you anything else you want to add yeah i do all right so i wasn't able to do anything for christmas um for my kids okay my daughter i'm going to do a laptop that was her christmas wish so that's pretty much covered my boys are cleveland brown fans and odell beckham fans I would love, I'm sorry, my nine-year-old is like head over heels. He's like his number one fan and Cleveland Brown's number one fan. My other son likes them too, but he's a ninja and a karate um, expert all of a sudden. Nice. So that was his wish for, you know, ninja stuff and karate stuff. Okay. And then my baby, on, my youngest son, Honor, was just Cleveland Brown stuff. Um, I was just going to reach out or, or ask if there's anybody, any viewers, anybody that, um, you know, watches the program, if they have, even if it's used, donate or whatever, anything that they might be able to, um, you know, get their hands on and maybe get in touch with you guys. So 
I can kind of make that happen for them. Right, well, we um, put our PO box in the, in the description of every video, so okay. if they have any of that stuff, hopefully they'll send it to our PO box. Okay, um, yeah, that would be really, really great. Or if they could leave maybe something in the comments or whatever, because um, I will have a phone today. Awesome. And I'm going to definitely be uh, watching this this uh, program as much as possible because I'll be able to now. Awesome. That's all right. Great. So I will pay attention to the comments and stuff. But if nothing else at all, like, uh, and prayer. Like, I just need a lot of prayer and, you know, stuff like that. But I really want to make that happen for my boys. They deserve it. They're good kids. And <laughs> their grandma is... She does everything and everything else, and you know, I just, I don't know. I just, she, I know she's not gonna be able to do it. She's got 16 other grandkids. Wow. Not with cost, not custody of, but she's got three of her grandchildren that she's got custody of. So I just, I know she wasn't able to do much with that for them because mm -hmm. she has to divvy up between all. The, so I just really want to make that happen. Like, okay. I don't, like I said, I, it doesn't have to be brand new stuff. I'm not asking for autographs. I just want to give them something so that they're like, oh my God, mom, you know, we asked mom and mom got like, that's sure. just, I just want to feel that. Mom came through. Yeah, like I just want that smile from them and I just want to feel good that I was able to get it together and be, and give it to them. You know what I mean? Right. Like they're doing good with their schooling and stuff right now despite all the confusion and all that stuff that goes along with it right now because of the pandemic right but they deserve it they do and that's like the really like the only thing they didn't get because she kind of had to reach out to um you know like twitch retards and stuff you know you just get what you get you don't really pick things out she's they're they're grateful kids they always have been so of course they were happy but any kid that wishes for something specific and it doesn't come, it's a natural feel, to feel disappointed. Sure, I understand. So, I just want to take that disappointment away. Well, we'll do you what know, we can. We don't need season tickets. Just a hat and, a, and, a, and you know, something like, I don't know, whatever. Odell Beckham and the Cleveland Browns. I really wish they had have said the Pittsburgh Steelers. It would have made me so proud, but it didn't happen. <laughs> All right, H. Well, you have a great day. Thanks for your time. No, thank you. I love you guys. You guys are the best ever. Thank you. Seriously. Like, I <laughs> I promote you guys all the time. <laughs> I'm like, if you guys ever see this black truck with the trailer, wave them down. I'm telling you. They are the best. <laughs> so...